Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Everyone, welcome to the show. So 64-year-old Arizona resident and Oath Keepers member Edward Vallejo was sentenced for the crimes he committed at the Capitol. As with the other Oath Keepers cases, this won't be my typical sentencing video. I covered so much during their trial. So if you guys want to blow by blow, um, go and check out the Oath Keepers trials playlist on YouTube and you can get caught up on all the details. But in regard to Vallejo, there's a few things of note that bear repeating. Although Vallejo wasn't at the Capitol on January 6th, he was sitting in a hotel room with another member. They were right across the river with all of their weapons. And he was waiting for a signal. He was going to haul everything over to the Capitol in two trucks that they had. So, in fact, Vallejo said that if Congress certified the vote for Biden, it would be a declaration of war. That, those were his words. And he said that he would be, quote, the motherfucker to fix it. And Vallejo seemed prepared to take action even after the Capitol attack, because the next day on the morning of January 7th, Vallejo went to D.C. and he conducted surveillance to, quote, probe the defense line. So he was looking to attack again. And he attempted to meet with the Oath Keepers founder, Elmer Stewart Rhodes, to try to discuss what their, quote, next steps would be. Uh, Vallejo also attempted to destroy evidence. He deleted the Signal app off of his phone. So Vallejo was arrested on January 13th of 2021, and he was charged with seditious conspiracy, conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, obstructing an official proceeding, and conspiracy to prevent members of Congress from discharging their duties. And in January of 2023, following a multi-week jury trial, Vallejo was found guilty on all counts. So normally Vallejo would be facing a maximum potential sentence of 20 years behind bars, but the prosecutor would typically request a much lower sentence, something that's more in line with the average federal sentencing guidelines. In this case, though, the prosecutor requested that the judge impose a terrorism enhancement, and so they asked for 17 years in prison, three years of probation, and 2,000 in restitution. U.S. District Judge Amit Mehta presided over the Oath Keepers trial in all of the cases, and at the sentencing hearing, Vallejo was apparently very emotional. He told Judge Mehta, quote, I wish I never associated myself with Stuart Rhodes. And then he also told the judge that he no longer holds the same views, and he's basically done with politics. Judge Mehta told Vallejo that prior to January 6th, he lived, quote, a life that is worthy of great respect. And then he added, quote, people like Mr. Vallejo are victims in their own right. However, the judge said, quote, that, of course, doesn't mean that they aren't responsible for their own actions. So when all was said and done, Judge Mehta told Vallejo that his involvement in trying to make January 6th even more violent posed a threat to democracy. But due to his age, his health and level of remorse, Judge Mehta went easy on him. Um, Vallejo was sentenced to three years in prison, three years of probation, which includes one year of home confinement, and 2,000 in restitution. I mean, I guess the takeaway is, if we want to violently overthrow the government, you know, it's best to let our health decline first, and then we wait until we're older, so the judge will give us a pass, right? I mean, if those are factors... I don't understand why those are factors. If you are healthy enough and you're young enough to go and try to overthrow the government, if you are literally well enough, young enough to try to commit seditious conspiracy and you are convicted of seditious conspiracy, then your sentence should reflect that. So another joke, I don't get what's going on with Meta. I don't know why he's being so weak on some of these people. It is absolutely insulting to the police, to every member of Congress, to everyone who works in that building, to the jurors, as I've said in other cases. I mean, it, it's, it's a slap in their face. It really is. So anyway, guys, 
Thank you so much for watching and listening. If I hear any more, I will let you know. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Love you all. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon.